Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So this week I have been contemplating how we have very little control <laughs> over certain events in our lives. We've had quite a sort of tumultuous week over the last week and all sorts of things have been happening. Things that were really unexpected and things that we couldn't have anticipated. So what I've been thinking about is something that Viktor Frankl spoke about in his book Man's Search for Meaning. And that's how we don't have control over circumstances of events in life, but we do have control over who we are in those during those events. And that this is the only true choice that we really have in life, is to choose who we want to be in any circumstance. And I suppose I just wanted to bring it to your attention because it's very difficult to choose who you want to be in a set of circumstances when they actually happen because the shock, the fear and whatever else that comes up can be so overwhelming that you, you know, it's hard to then start thinking of other things and thinking of how you, know, you want to behave and how you want to react. But if you start thinking about these things before something happens in life, if you start really thinking about the kind of person that you want to be, the values that you have in your life, um, how you want to respond to things in your life, um, what you want to be known for and what you want to show up as in life, then when circumstances change and happen, and as we all know looking around the world today, there's a lot of change and all sorts of unpredictable things that have happened that only a very few people could even have thought would have been possible. If you think about those things, and you know, as I'm saying, it's not about how you respond to one specific event, but it's deciding who you want to be. You know, do you want to be somebody that um, is a fighter, that you know, stands up for things and faces things? Or do you want to be somebody who's calm and collective and reflective? Or do you want to be somebody who embraces life and um, is joyous and enthusiastic and really lives things? And thinking about these things yourself before something in life happens or throws you a curveball um, helps you supports you through those times when they happen and it gives you a, a sort of a guiding light um, a way forwards a path to follow when something happens and quite often when these things show up in our lives when events happen that we might not necessarily have anticipated um, I'm thinking of my own self in the last few weeks there's all sorts of things that can be triggers um, you know, old patterns, old hurts, old wounds, because when there's change and there's dis disruption, um, we're at our most vulnerable. And when we're at our most vulnerable, that's when we're most sensitive to external influences and things that happen. And when you've decided who you want to be in a certain situation, it's very easy to then see the things that have been triggered in you, the things that um, where you're reacting and being defensive and thinking out of who you want to be and more into sort of your ego self. And it really helps to know before you enter those situations. Otherwise, you can get completely sort of taken away um, in the moment and in the response to the triggers and the, the hurts and the wounds and everything else that's going on. Um, and that's not to say that I've got it completely waxed. I certainly don't. Um, but it's really just something I've been pondering over the last week. And it's something that I thought you might find useful um, to make some time in the next week to sit down, think of what your values are. Um, think about, sort of, look around your life. Look at people in your life. Look at people you admire. Look at traits that they have, things that you would want to embody yourself. And really think of what it would be like to live a life showing up like that. And then when something does disrupt your world, when something turns everything higgledy-piggledy and inside out, you, you've got that template, you've got that blueprint to step into, to remind yourself of what you want to be when life is not quite the way you planned it. <laughs> um, anything that I've spoken about will be in the references in the show notes below. You can, um, as, along with my social media where you can contact me directly, and my website where you can have a look at any of my online courses. If you're interested in coaching and you would like to contact me, just get hold of me through my website or my social media, and I'd be more than happy to set up a free chemistry call with you. So much love from me to you. Have a lovely week. Bye-bye.